Hello and welcome to another edition of my collection. This time, you guessed it, it's time for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. This is the standard controller, this is a mouse and this is a cartridge to play Game Boy games on this great console. I don't have so many cartridges for the system, uh, but I think I got some decent one. Let's start with the first one. This is Illusion of Time, in some countries better known as Illusion of Gaia. It's a very good RPG game, very action role-playing game. If you're interested in these kind of games, get it. It's that good. <laughs> this game is considered one of the worst games of all time and believe me, as a beat-em-up it's boring as shit. Rise of the Robots is an insult to the video game industry. Maybe someone want to see a let's show about it, but believe me, it's that garbage. Because I'm an idiot, I have it, but please do yourself a favor and skip it. Believe me, it's that shitty. Flashback on one side is a nice game. If you know Another World, this is maybe the sequel or the, the kind of sequel because the sequel of Another World is... I think it was for the Saturn or was something. Uh, but Flashback has the same look and feel and style. It's a really, really good game. Also on the Super Nintendo. And if you have the mouse, of course, you have Mario Paint. It's not only a graphic program, it's also a music composer and a very decent one. So, if you're interested in, in these kind of games, this thing is a must-have. Also a must-have is Parodius. It's an awesome Gradius parody from Konami himself. Uh, of himself, it's that great, believe me. Where well, is this neat thing with uh, you have to fly through legs through a dancer? It's that great, believe me. This is a great shooter, great game, great parody. This is a must have. Ha! Not only the, the right. Uh, choice but it's time for the second one before we get the first one believe me I have the first one too. Mortal Kombat 2 is maybe the best Mortal Kombat till today even with a reboot. If you never ever heard of this amazing game you are an idiot and living on a rock. Mortal Kombat 2 is a must-have if you're a beat em up fan. This game is simply godlike. Speaking of another Mortal Kombat, this is Ultimate Mortal Kombat. Uh, it's the updated uh, Mortal Kombat 3 game if you want to get it. I have both versions. Uh, I think better you get the Ultimate one. It's interesting. Uh, MK3 is a little bit strange. You will see it if you play it. This isn't strange. Zelda A Link to the Past considered as one of the best Zelda games of all time, maybe with Zelda 1 and uh, yeah, Ocarina of Time, of course. Uh, this game is simply amazing. If you're a Zelda fan, you have to get it. Believe me, it's that good. <laughs> it's February and the Rumble is history. Um, Yes, it's it's an LGN game, but it's okay. It's not the greatest wrestling games of all time, but Royal Rumble is playable. Uh, the raw version is better, but this game is playable. If you're interested in these kind of games, it's worth it. Speaking of worth it, this is the first game of LGN of a WrestleMania games. Um, it's okay, but 
you have to be a real fan to enjoy it. It's not so great, believe me. Another beat him up with clay. <laughs> well, clay fighters, and this is really interesting game concept. It also has claytalities. Maybe you think something like well, there's another game that sounds very similar to that. Um, it's an it's an interesting beat em up. It's not the greatest beat em up of all time, but it's okay. It's it's nice. It's it's decent. It's okay. Warlord, uh, no weapon lord. Yes, uh, this is um, also a beat em up um, game with weapons. I don't know why I have it, but I have it. Um, it's okay, but it's not. Uh, in the same league like so caliber or something else uh, I have it that's a simple fact you don't need to raw this is maybe the best um, wrestling game on the Super Nintendo it's really interesting there are some hidden modes in this game if you're interested in these kind of games just get it it's really good Super Terry Kane, you know, on the Super Nintendo, all games start with Super Terry Kane is, was an awesome, an very awesome game on uh, the Amiga, and this version is also very good. So if you're a Terry Kane fan, uh, go and get it. It's worth it. Mortal Kombat 1. Uh, it's not the best arcade port, also uh, the Super Nintendo version is a little bit family friendly. Believe me well, really interesting fatalities, you will see what I mean. Uh, so, um, this thing I want to give you a little hint, uh, use the Mega Drive version. Uh, it's a little bit more adult than this version. But it's an it's an interesting game, so if you're a collector, maybe you are interested in these. Once again, if you're an idiot, California Games 2, the sequel to the to one of the best epics uh, sports or fun games collection, uh, this game is no, you don't need that. I didn't like it on the PC and I didn't and I don't like it on the Super Nintendo it's not good if you're interested in these maybe you want to get it and just look it but it's not worth it believe me Super Mario World it's I think it's a very unknown title about a plumber and a princess maybe princess orange or some Stop kidding. This is Super Mario World, one of the best Mario games of all time. This game is great. I got it on a fair because uh, in the early days I played it a lot, but I didn't uh, bought the cartridge. So this is a must have for collection. This is a great game and believe me, it's worth it. Mortal Kombat 3. The Black Sheep of a Mortal Kombat series, maybe. It's okay, it's interesting, it's Mortal Kombat, but I and had a lot more fun with number two than with number four, uh, number three. Uh, also with number four, but number four wasn't on the Super Nintendo anymore. Um, uh, you can get it, but it's not that good. Star Wing! If you're a fan of Star Fox, this game is very good, very interesting, and it's it's a great rail shooter. Uh, it's very good. I loved it to death, and maybe you will do it the same way. The last thing before we enter the 10 minute mark is Pilot Wings. Pilot Wings is. Um, Maybe you can call it a flight simulator. You have uh, a lot of things about flying and and uh, parachuting. It's 
more on the patient side of life than on the action side but it's a really nice game so if you are into something like that maybe it's your kind of game just look it up so this was part one see you next week and part two bye bye